Yes, my viewers. Here again. Ever slick media. Yeah, man. This time around, <coughs> working on a QSC audio amplifier. 2400 watt, as you can see. Yeah, model number PLX2402. Alright. Yeah. As you can see, here's the plug for it. Yeah. Alright, here's the plug. I plug it in. Customer say it's not coming on, no power. No power, no nothing, sir. I'm about to pull it apart and check to see what's going on inside, alright? So, yes, my viewers, stick around. Don't touch that dial, alright? Welcome to Everslick Media. Welcome to Everslick Media. And please remember, don't forget to like, share and to subscribe to my YouTube channel, alright? Hit the notification bell to see the next video coming out. See? Are you watching till the end? You can watch a end video, alright? Yeah, man. Slick media. Ever slick media. Okay, my viewers. See what's going on here now. Yeah. This is one of the QSC amplifier. Do not use one of those big transformer. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, it don't use that big transformer. Yeah. So here goes. Here goes. Alright. So I'm coming in from the line in, the input section. Yeah. Kind of a little dust, so I have to do some cleaning. Alright. As you can see on this side here. Yeah. Alright. This is the current side. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, danger zone, danger zone. There is a red flag down there. Hold on, my viewers. I'm going to show you the red flag. There is a red flag. Do you see that red flag? Do you see that red flag? Yeah, that high C. Yeah, hit pin high C, it bursts. Alright? So there is some trouble. There, there is some trouble. Something is going on there. Alright? Yeah. Right in the current section, there is a... There is a high C burst. Yeah. That's it right there. Focus camera, focus. Focus. That's it. Alright. So I write up my viewers. That is how you check a amplifier for any fault it have, you know? So before going any further, you look around in the circuit, see if you can see something. Yeah, alright. These um transistors and this board here is the transistor that in control of the electricity. Alright, it's still plugged in, you know, so you know you will get shocked. Alright, yeah. Alright. It don't use that big transformer like the other one them. Yep. Alright, yeah, still plug in. So can't play with it. Alright, so hand plug it and then you pull it apart and check to see what's going on. Alright, my viewers, stick around. Can't go any further with this amplifier. I have to get some parts for this amplifier, so you have to look out for part two to see when this amplifier is in working mode, alright? Okay. This amplifier needed two transistors from here. 
these two transistors here, yeah, is out. This is a rectifier. This is a bridge rectifier, four in one rectifier. Yeah, that one is out also. This um amplifier is a two twenty. Yeah, it's a two twenty volt amplifier. It's a 220 volt amplifier, all right? Yeah, so this is one of the amplifier. Don't use those big transformers. If you, you feel it have it don't have that weight like those first time QSC, all right? Yeah, so this one uses a straight current. Yeah, so the rectifier, transistor, that is what break down the, the current, turn it into DC, put it to the cap. If you notice, these are four diodes. Yeah, so that is what do the trick in the example fire. Yeah, I also have some small cap here, and you can still improve on it with two more bigger cap. You know, make it more stronger. All right, so my viewers can't go any further with sample fire. So stick around, see part two when it is playing. All right, I have to get those parts. All right, and. The high C where it bursts, I have to get some way to, to get the number of that high C. But you know, I'm gonna do some research, see if I can find the, the number for the high C, alright? So, yes, my viewers, ever slick media, don't forget to like, share, to subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more, alright? So, the amplifier is. 2000 watt PLX 2402 alright yeah so stick around for part 2 to see when it, it, it is in plain mode alright yes my viewers and thanks for watching